check this out. Yeah, this door shouldn't be doing that. So I'm gonna share with you today how to use a planer to trim this door down so that it opens and closes smoothly. This is pretty simple to do, so let's get to it. With the door in a closed position, you can remove all the pins from the hinges using a nail set and a hammer. The first thing you want to do is make sure you mark the trouble spots on the door. So I put an X here before I even remove the door from the bathroom. The next step is to estimate how much you want to trim off. In my case, it's probably about, I would say, maybe an eighth of an inch along the bottom here. So once you estimate how much you want to trim off, use a measuring tape make a mark on the bottom of the door on one side go to the exact opposite side and make a second mark then use a straight edge with a pencil to draw a line across the bottom of the door This is going to be your reference mark. What you need to do next is place some blue painter's tape along the portion of the door that you're going to run the planer along. The planer has a guide on it, and in my experience, the guide sometimes scuffs up the paint job, so the blue tape helps to prevent that scuffing. So you take the blue painter's tape, and you put it on both sides of the door. So now that your blue painter's tape is in place, you're now ready to use the planer. One additional tip here, make sure that there are no staples or anything sticking out of the bottom of the door that could harm the planer. So in this case, they forgot to remove these staples and in fact, they didn't even prime and paint the bottom of this bathroom door, which is a big no-no because moisture can penetrate the wood and cause the door to swell, which in fact could, have, could lead to the door not opening and closing properly. So once I'm done with this, I'm gonna prime the bottom and paint it. But again, remove anything on the bottom like staples or nails that could harm your planer. Now what I like to do is plane the door from the outside edges to the center. So I begin on one side of the door plane it from the outside edge to the center, then I go from, I stop to, in the center, then I go to the other side and I plane it from that side to the center. And you just keep doing this back and forth, very slowly, and little by little, you will plane the door down. Be patient, follow that procedure, and before you know it, your door is gonna have a nice, planed edge to it and it won't stick to the bottom of the floor or to the sides of the jam or wherever it's sticking. So let me show you how I do this with the actual planer. Check this out. No scraping, right? So that's what happens when you're able to plane a door. I hope this video helped you out and have a great day. Take care.